So this video is going to show how to get a Weibo authorization code so that you can use the Weibo API to get information from their service. And there's a few steps to this. Uh, basically, first you have to get a Weibo user ID to register for the social network. And then you have to actually also register as a developer with Weibo and then register an application so that you can get the key. And I'll show you how to go through all these steps. Uh, this tutorial is based on this website, which uh, was from a few years ago and covers in a lot of detail um, how to do this. There has been some changes to the Weibo interface since then, so I'm going to record this video as the, the current procedure as of September 2014. Um, this website is still really useful because at the bottom it has a few ap applets that help you with the authorization and also to test your authorization code later. So we're still going to use this. Um, and the first step to doing this is actually just to open this website and uh, keep it open for now. There's a few other things uh, you have to do to make this easier, especially if you're doing this outside of China. The first one is to download the Ola uh, Better Internet plugin for Chrome, or I think this is available for Firefox as well. And what Ola does, is it's kind of like a portal. It will route your internet connection through an IP address in any country you choose. And this is because a lot of websites now, um, including Weibo, actually differentiate or give you different content based on where it's tracking your IP from. So if you log into Weibo from the US, you actually don't get the full Weibo site and there's some differences. And we actually just want the full Chinese Weibo site. So Ola will allow us to um, route our IP through China uh, when we register. And to get Ola, you can just Google it, um, Ola Better Internet, and it'll come up if you're using Chrome with the Chrome Web Store page and you can just download it uh, from there. See here, I already have it downloaded and added to Chrome. Okay, the second uh, tool that you might need is um, a temporary email address. So Weibo, when you register, will ask you for a few different pieces of personal information, including your email address. And you're definitely uh, free to use your real uh, email address but in case you don't want to do that or you want to register multiple accounts so you can download more data um, there's a way to get around this by using one of the many kind of temporary uh, email address sites and one that works really well is called um, gorilla mail so that's g-u-e-r-r-i-l-l-a mail.com if you go to gorilla mail uh, it's going to allow you to get a temporary email address that you can use while you're registering to get all the kind of verification from Weibo and then dispose of it at the end. And this works really well. Um, so in case you don't want to use your own email address, you can use this website. Basically, it will let you enter a name. So I'll just type in Weibo Weibo, set, pick your domain, pick this Gurla. Um, I'll uncheck scramble just to make it more kind of intuitive. So this is my new email address and it's already set up my inbox here and I can get all the email while this window is open. Make sure not to close this email during the duration of the whole uh, setup process. Okay, so here's my inbox for this email address and here is my reference guide. Um, so now we're gonna start um, with the process. I'm gonna open another browser window so I'm going to go to www.weibo.com and you can see that um, Ola has identified this as a Chinese website and has actually automatically rerouted my IP through China. I can change this by clicking on the app. I can actually specify any country I want to route through, but we actually want to keep it as China. Okay, so you're going to get this interface this is the login screen you can log in if you have some um, a login address ready um, to make a new one you're going to go down here to this text which says create a new account um, that'll launch a new window 
and this is some basic information to get your account here uh, you want to put in your email address you can use your own or one of the temporary ones you create um, create a password and then type in this information click sign up now okay so the page reloads and you can see in our gorilla mail we've gotten a new email and this is the confirmation email from uh, from Weibo so if you're using your email this will come up in your inbox click on this and then click on the link to activate you are gonna drag this over here okay so what you get is the login screen again uh, here you want to put in your email address that you use to register and your password click OK and this might take a couple times um, sometimes they have sort of server issues so uh, once you're able to log in you pick a nickname this will be uh, your real name or you can use any pseudonym you want um, birthday uh, you can specify as you wish and uh, gender is male female and location I would just keep it as the default so this nickname has to be unique and there's about half a billion people on Weibo at this point so it might be hard to find a new one in this case I'm just gonna type in some random letters it doesn't really matter uh, what you choose as long as it hasn't been taken yet and I'm gonna hit uh, OK here uh, the next step is gonna ask you to choose an interest and you have to choose at least one it doesn't really matter which one uh, just click on one of these icons and hit enter uh, and that's it so now you have a Weibo account you can see your uh, username up here and it's going to send you another activation email uh, so you have to wait for that in your inbox sometimes it doesn't actually send it right away you can also ask it to resend the activation email here and I'll send it to your email address and then you should see that pop up in your inbox uh, pretty soon okay so there's the confirmation email and we'll just go to this link uh, once again And once you follow that link, uh, you should be good to go. Um, and now you have a, a full working uh, login to to Weibo. You see, it's already set you up with a few followers. And you can use this now to start posting and exploring uh, the social network. Okay, so once we have a Weibo uh, login, we need to set up an account with. Uh, the Weibo development network and actually set up a developer's account so we can get our access code and the developer site for Weibo is at open.weibo.com uh, just like with the main Weibo site you want to make sure you have Ola installed and route your IP through China so once uh, we're on the site if you're logged in to Weibo it'll come up with your username up here and you want to click on this username drop down and select the first option and this will allow you to uh, register your Weibo account with uh, the developer network so here uh, you want to click on single person this is the first option here and you want to just enter some information about yourself just like with the main Weibo you can register your actual information or you can just uh, put in any information. It really doesn't matter. All these fields are required, but as long as you put something that seems right, uh, it doesn't really matter. So just to remember what all, thing, all these things are, I actually saved out a screenshot earlier, and this might help you, uh, you know, if you're a, a non-Chinese speaker, just to fill out the right information in these categories. So the first one is your name, and I just use the, um, the first part of my kind of temporary email address. Uh, the next part is the location of your business. Uh, here you can select anything. You just select one city and then you drop down and select one of these options. And you can, this is your uh, street address. You can type in anything. This is just some street in Beijing. Um, zip code can be any number. Here's your email address again. Um, here's the phone number and um, 
you can just use their example here again it doesn't really matter what you enter and for most people doing this you're not going to have a chinese phone number anyway so just type in whatever this will allow you to select kind of a, a chat service i don't know why they want to know this but if you select msn uh, you can pretty much enter anything at msn.com and it'll go through uh, this is your website you can just put in any website uh, it doesn't even have to be real and this is your contact information you can put in any name text and then uh, again any phone number you can just use the same one uh, once again see all the uh, green check marks means you're good to go and you can hit ok and hit ok again and uh, you're good to go so if we go back to our inbox um, you see you received another confirmation so this is a confirmation for your developer account you click on that and just like before you follow that link and it will approve your account as a developer okay so now that you have a developer account we just want to go back to open.weibo and here you have your account it has some of your description um, and what we want to do now is we want to actually create a fake uh, app so that we can get an authorization key. The way this works is the Weibo API is really meant not for researchers downloading data, it's really meant for developers who make apps that use the Weibo service and they can actually automatically get information from Weibo. So for instance, you can make a social media aggregator where you, you aggregate Facebook and Twitter and Weibo information, then Weibo allows you to register a specific access code for that app and use that to download information uh, to your app. In our case, because we just want to use the login to get data for research, uh, we're just gonna make a fake uh, app for that. So if you go to the first option here, these are your applications, just click on the main uh, heading and click this green button, it says make a new application. And here it doesn't really matter what you choose. Uh, this is just different types of applications. This is uh, mobile applications. And just for the purposes of this demo, I'm just gonna go to a web application. And now it's going to ask me for some information. And again, just so I remember what these things are, I made a little screenshot before. So this is my name. Again, I'm gonna use my Uh, temporary email address and this is the website uh, so again it doesn't have to be a real website I'm just gonna put in the same name dot com and you can leave these things as default this is just accepting the the terms of the of the API uh, so now I said okay so it's made an app. This is the interface for our actual app, which is the same name as our email. And here it's going to ask you for a bunch of information about the app, like descriptions and things like this. So you can fill in all the uh, random information if you want. Um, the key piece of information here that we're going to need is our app key. So this is a kind of unique identifying number for your app. Your app secret, which is kind of like the password for your app. And we need one more piece of information now for the API, which is your actual authorization code. And for that, we need to go through one more uh, step. And the step is actually described also in this guide. We need to actually send some information to uh, Weibo to get one of these authorization codes. Okay, so the first thing you do is go down to the second option here. This will enter your authorization information for the app. And here you can set up your redirect uh, website, which is basically going to allow you to set up a kind of secret or verified authorization code for your app. So to edit this website, just click here. Um, you can enter any website here as long as it's real because it's actually going to use this website to verify that you're actually doing this. Um, because we have this guide here, this works really well, we can use the website that this uh, guy provides, and this is his GitHub site. 
So basically how it's going to work is you enter any site here, kind of verify it as long as they match, click OK. Um, this is the site, and again, it could be anything. This is just this guy's GitHub site. Um, this is a site that's not linked to your developer account. And there's a process that is described here with authentication. Um, where you basically have to send Weibo these pieces of information. First, your client ID, which is your app key. So we can go back to um, the main tab here. Uh, your app key is here. Uh, and then your redirect uh, website, which we just entered before. And then just keep this as default code. And this will send this information to Weibo. Uh, you can enter this yourself in the address bar, or you can use this uh, guy's sort of quick applet here. So all we have to do in this case, if we use the same email, is enter our client ID here, and keep everything the same. If you want to use a different website, you can put the website that you chose here as long as this website matches the website you have here. And then we hit submit and it'll pop up this dialog box that basically says uh, you're allowing this developer uh, access to your account. Click OK. And what it's going to do is actually load up that web page that you specified as your redirect web page. This is just this guy's uh, GitHub page. But in the address bar, it's going to have that page and a question mark and then your code. And this is the authentication code that we're looking for. So just copy that into your clipboard and maybe uh, you know somewhere else just in case you lose it. And now we're going to scroll down here. And again, this is a lot of the same information. And we're going to do the last step, which will use that authentication code to create this authorization code. And the authorization code, once we have it, is all we need to access a lot of different parts of the API. Uh, so the process here is our client ID will be the same as before. This is our app ID. The client secret you can get from this website here under your app key, it's app secret. Uh, this is the same website you used uh, for the redirect. Uh, we're just going to keep this guy's site by default. Uh, the grant type you can keep as authorization code. And the code here is the one that we just got from the previous step. Copy that and paste it here. Click Submit. This will load up a new window. And this time, it's just a piece of data. And it has all the information. Here's the access token. And this is the main piece of information that we were after this whole time. Uh, this will allow us access into the API to get any information we need. Uh, this user ID you don't really need, but it might be good to copy that down just in case. Okay, so now once we have that authorization code, um, we can use this website to test some of the functionality of the app just to make sure that uh, everything is working. So um, this one I think will just access the public timeline API, which will give you basically a list of the most recent posts to Weibo. And just to test that, we're going to copy and paste our own um, app ID. We're going to copy and paste our new uh, access token or authorization. And then the page number, we'll just keep it one. Hit submit. And now you can see we got back our response from Weibo. Um, this has come back as a JSON format with all of the posts kind of organized in this way. And uh, we're going to get more uh, into in class this JSON format, how to actually extract all the information from this format. Um, that completes uh, this demo, basically uh, how to set up a Weibo account and a Weibo developer account to get this authorization code that will allow us to uh, use the Weibo API.